Hello, I'm Stacy. Welcome back to my channel, Stacy's Bookcase, where I like to talk about books. And today, I'm going to give a few more random book recommendations. I really like when I can discover books that I wouldn't normally seek out, either through randomly browsing shelves or having someone recommend a book to me. So I've decided to give some random book recommendations every now and then and see if anything sparks your interest. So the first one I'm going to recommend is New Moon by Midori Snyder. I loved this book when I read it when I was younger. I was probably in middle school or high school when I first picked this up and I don't know how many times I've reread this book but it's been a lot. Um, so this book is about it's set in a fantasy world. Uh, Orin, this country, has been taken over by an invading force. And there's a queen. The queen is the queen of Orin. However, uh, she is working with the outside force, the invading country, uh, to sort of oppress her people. And that's the setting for the story and it follows various characters and it does it switches perspective between different characters so you get to see a little bit of all sides the main character i would say is jobber this uh, street rat thief uh who we're introduced to in the beginning very interesting character the twists and turns are great. There's this magic system where people uh, can be sort of attuned to the elements, uh, fire, water, earth, air. However, the queen and the oppressing invading force have weeded out all of the people who, who have magic and are able to use the elements so the queen is the only one who can and anyone who is found to have this gift this skill is hung and that includes children um there are some people called readers who can see the gift in people it's like a glowing halo above their heads and um so this is a story of people trying to break out of this oppressive rule and the the story just it's so interesting and the world is really really interesting there's a lot of different parts to it it just gets better and better as you continue one thing that i really loved about new moon is that it takes place over three days which i really love for some reason when i first read it so it's a pretty fast-paced story uh, this has a special place in my heart <laughs> because I loved it so much when I first read it and I've reread it so much. Um, I remember looking up a review for it a long, long time ago and it was, it was pretty terrible. <laughs> Person roasted the book pretty hard. Um, but I genuinely think it's a great book. So I don't know. I think that people should give this a try and then let me know what you thought of it. It is a trilogy. There are two other books. Uh, I enjoyed the other books as well. I think the first one is my favorite by far, but the world gets um, more interesting as you continue. There are more little, uh, there are more cool aspects of the world that are introduced in the later books. So yes, give this a shot. And the second book I'm going to recommend is A House in Gross Disorder. Sex Law and the Second Earl of Castlehaven. This is a nonfiction book and it's about the Earl of Castlehaven. So he was tried and convicted, I'm pretty sure, of, yep, he was convicted of assisting in the rape of his own wife and committing sodomy with his servants. But did he actually? <laughs> so this is a book that I read in college and it's one of the only books that I read and really enjoyed because it's just so crazy what happened with this Earl and the fact that it's a true story and we don't know who's telling the truth or not. It's just 
an example of how very twisted events can become to the point where there is really no going back and that's this that's this book so if you want a really twisted crazy story based you know on true events then you should pick this up it's pretty crazy pretty crazy what happened then my last recommendation is the dam keeper and this is the story that the short the animated short is based off of i don't know which one came first but this uh sort of follows the short along the same lines it's a little bit different goes a little bit farther and the reason i recommend this instead of just watching the short is because there are hold on there are two other volumes so there are three volumes total so the story goes way beyond what the short uh does and this story is so heartwarming and also heartbreaking at the same time the third volume made me cry like a baby and it's also beautiful and moving there's just so many great things about this story it's so pretty the art is beautiful if you liked the way the short looked then you'll like how the book looks um you could watch the short first if you wanted to give it a shot and then uh, pick up the volume but the volume definitely goes beyond what the short does and uh, then going even beyond that with the next two volumes yeah i would definitely recommend picking this up it's absolutely adorable and will move you move you and make your make you feel all warm and fuzzy but also make you cry those are my three recommendations a children's story uh a non-fiction and then a fantasy go ahead and let me know if any of these sparked your interest if you've read any of them and enjoyed them or didn't enjoy them let me know that too i hope that you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and i'll see you next time bye